I'm fucked up in the brain. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Your baby mother. Holla at your mother. I seen this one guy rapping in Jamaican. I should have seen it. You seen this one guy rapping in Jamaican? <laughs> yeah. He was Jamaican rapping. Jamaican rapping? He was Jamaican. He was Jamaican. Man. He's a real bad man. <laughs> I actually seen an actual real Jamaican guy today. For real? For real. I swear to God. But we was on the phones and we heard this one Jamaican dude and he was he was really a real bad man. He yeah. Was, he was a for real bad man. Dude, the guy oh, that wait, I seen. Wait a second. Hell yeah. Please no. So what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> He's a real Jamaican man. <laughs> He's a real Jamaican man. <gasps> <laughs> Jeez. Podcast I, at midnight. Yeah, I kind of want to get comfy and like fucking put my feet up here, but I have paint on my feet. So <laughs> it's going to be very we're, we're noticeable. Very, bro. We're very comfortable what on this podcast. The? I don't give a yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'm comfortable as Bro, fuck. I'm what up. the fuck? Hell yeah! God damn! <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> it looks like you've been stepping in ashes. Bro, I just got done painting. Right. I got done. That don't look right. <laughs> Get that away! That I just got done look. painting. Get that off the blanket. What in the world? What this? Say if it don't make a fuck. Oh my god! It don't. What? Come on! <laughs> it don't make a fuck. Whoa. It's just alcohol in there. You need to get that to me right away. <laughs> <laughs> it's just straight pure fucking uh, moonshine. If there's any Bruh. drugs in this house, you better find them and give them to me right away. away. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, that's a badass interview. Yeah, that is a badass. You know he's what talking, we're talking about, about the Jalen. Nah, the Charlie Sheen interview. Charlie Sheen interview. It's a Charlie Sheen oh, interview. I, th- honestly, I think I know which one you're talking about, bro. That sounds familiar. And he like goes ham. He goes fucking crazy. He goes yeah, fucking he goes ham crazy. as fuck. <laughs> He's like bad mouthing the reporter. Yeah. <laughs> and I think at one point he starts like flirting with her. Oh, yeah. She yeah I know it. exactly what you're talking yeah. about. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking She's about. She's like, how many girls have you fucked? He's like, you want to be the next one? <laughs> 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 That guy goes insane. Yeah, like, oh, at one point, man. she was like, "Are you worried about Don?" He said, "Don's for fools. Don's for <laughs> fools. <laughs> Don's for fools. That's the name. That's actually going to be the name of this Don's episode. Don's, Don's for, for fools. fools. It is. Yeah. I still, is for I still didn't get to finish my uh, what I was going to say about the Jamaican guy that I what seen. Uh, he had long hair. <laughs> and that's all you just want to say, bro. Yeah, I just needed to finish that because I didn't get to tell anybody that. Yeah, like long ass dreads. Yeah, brother. Yes, and he had him in his. He had him in his Rastafarian mind. Rastafari. <laughs> I actually have. Rastafari. What is a Rastafarian? Yeah. What Rastafari. is that? It's that, it's that <laughs> thing. <Nobody. laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. No, he had a fucking cap. He had a big ass fucking. Mm-hmm. Dread cap, I guess. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm not being disrespectful by saying that. No, nah, you're not. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. I just really, really don't. <laughs> Maybe I, know, I, I know am. I know what you're talking about. I don't know the name for it. Uh, How often are you like, do, do like y'all two just in general? Do, how often do y'all see a Jamaican person? No, well, yeah, we can go down <laughs> that road. <laughs> Swear to God in law. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But no. How often do you say something that you don't really know much about and it comes off as disrespectful? Or say something that you don't mean to be disrespectful and it comes Mm. off as disrespectful? I don't know. I try not to just... If I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, I try not to talk about that shit. Really? Yeah. For the most part, same. You know, Like I am with the Rastafarian... I don't even know what the fuck a Rastafarian is. I don't even think you say it, Rastafarian. Rastafarian. Nah, Let's just, look it, it up. We can't, Italian. Pull, it's we just can't pull shit up. It's just Rastafari. I'm pretty it's sure. It's Rastafari? Yeah, just, it's not Rastafarian. I'm pretty oh, sure it's not that. Maybe I'm just fucked up in the brain. Yeah. Foot up in the head, foot, foot up, up in the brain. brain. Foot up in the head, yeah, foot, foot up, up in the brain. brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jalen's got it. Hell yeah. Okay, let's look it up. Rastafari. I'm pretty sure it's just Rastafari. Rastafari. Rastafarian. 
No, not Ian. Rastafari, sometimes called Rastafarianism, is a religion. Rastafarianism? Yeah, is a religion that developed in Jamaica during the 1930s. It is classified as both a new religious movement and a social movement by scholars of religion. Hmm. So a Rastafarian, a Rasta, a, a Rastafari is, person is a Rastafarian. All I know is real bad men don't eat the cat. They what? Real bad men don't eat the cat. Wow. That's what they say. I don't think that that's true. That's what they say. Do you eat the cat? I played the field. <laughs> <laughs> I played the field. Damn. No, no. All right. Shit. No, I've ate the cat before. How many times? There's no way you can count on one finger. No, I really can. I really can. I swear to God, in my whole lifetime, I could probably I could count on your whole of, lifetime. Yes. You're a bullshit. I'm not playing. I swear to You're God. You're not playing. No bullshit, bro. Dude, you gotta be playing. I'm not playing, bro. Call Kaylee. Bro, we can call her right now. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. Swear to God. Bro. And you're you gonna ask her. Girl? Say how many times. I'm gonna text her. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know you're about to get caught. No, I'm not, bro. And I can really count back to like every time. What about you? What about me? Yeah. Hell yeah. How many though? How many times? Yeah, brother. There's way. <laughs> that's why I said that. I think if you're like in a re- if you're in a long term relationship, there's no way you can go without eating the cat. Eating the cat. Nah, I definitely think that's true too. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, definitely. Yeah. And definitely. I don't think that there's any way you can count on your fingers how many times. Nah, bro. For real, I can literally think of every single time I've ever ate cat before. Like it's <laughs> it's it's really no. It's not over ten. I guarantee it's that. not over ten. Not over ten with multiple different people, and the one that I'm with right now, not over ten. So the one that you're with right now, you haven't ate the cat more than ten times. Nope. Wow. Huh? Wow, bro. You're geeking, dude. Nah, I know your situation. It's a privilege, you're bro. Geeking. It's a privilege, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I told her that from the jump. I was like, she because she was saying she want me to do that, and I'm like. Man, that shit is a privilege. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's just what it is. Like I gotta be. On, <laughs> you gotta be. We gotta be on a whole nother level for me to even uh-huh. think of considering to do some shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I can count on your I finger. Know, that's why I know at least it's less than ten. It's ten. It might be at ten or less than. So 10. she's only been good nine no, times. No, no. I wouldn't <laughs> even say that. It's not even about being good or not. It's just that's just how it is. Shit, mm. you just would rather mean. fuck, and you or have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> see, soon to be. See, Seth. Seth. what about you, Seth? I'm not gonna go into details about that. But <laughs> Seth, I'm not gonna go into details. About this that. right here is the. You ever ate the cat though? Hell yeah! Is okay. the reason, yeah. Jalen? Right here is the reason that I only eat the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I. I refrain. Don't bother me. Man. I refrain from sticking my pee pee inside. No, I feel. Well, yeah, yeah, your situation like you kind of have to. Kind of have to what? Have y'all ever felt cat. like that though? Have y'all ever yeah. felt like you just want to eat the cat? Yeah, you know sometimes. Like, you know yeah. What I'm yeah, like you got the you get the feeling. You just like, damn, I want to eat some pussy. Well, I don't have to. I just choose to because I don't want to. I know. No, I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. That's feel what you're saying. Yeah. But I'm, saying I'm just talking about as far as like the feeling, like. You know uh-huh. Like you just be like, Damn. oh yeah, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Type shit. I be having that feeling sometimes. Type shit. Yeah. Type shit. Shit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, how many shots do you take? How many times do you swear to God in law? <laughs> I mean, it depends on how much I drink, really. Really? Oh, shit, for real? <laughs> I don't think I've ever asked <laughs> Seth this. Bro, I mean, I for the most part, it's just... <laughs> I don't know I don't, if I've ever heard Seth swear to God. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, really, I don't really do that, you know? You don't swear have to God? Have you ever heard Seth swear to God? And lie? No, just swear to God in general. Have you? I swear to God. 
But I, 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 I don't usually know. I don't say it out loud. <laughs> I usually say it in my head. I'm like, swear to God, it's just getting my <laughs> like that OBX God. trip. Like I, I was oh, saying that in shit. my head every about five minutes. I swear to God. How many times have you heard me swear to God? <laughs> I mean, every day. <laughs> yeah, about every day. <laughs> every time I'm up. around you. Yeah. Every single time I'm yep. just like, I swear to God. Oh, I swear to. I. Oh, I'll beat I, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one time that uh, I see her was on a computer. And I think she uh-huh. accidentally deleted one of the video, like podcasts. And then I walked up to her and I was like, and "I'll beat them." I, 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 I heard over the phone. I was like, "I swear to God, see her." <laughs> oh yeah, I give you one thing to do. Bruh, every like, job, every you had time. one job. Seriously, and I, I, I it just infuriates me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you over the phone getting mad, <laughs> getting super duper angry. Come on, me a bread. Just destroy, snapping the fucking phone in half. <laughs> bro, every time Bradley got mad, bro, that shit fucking made me fucking laugh so Dude, hard, bro. I swear to God, you ever man. seen that video of him playing the the egg on Snapchat, playing the it's Xbox, like, God and damn. he threw his controller across the room. <laughs> he went, "You goddamn demons!" <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I remember that one time he got super duper drunk, and he and he fucking damn. This was when back whenever he used to drink. And he had his phone, and he was so pissed off. He fucking threw his phone in the goddamn dryer. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "God damn, son of a bitch!" He, he fucking the dryer, turned it on. He was so pissed off at just the world in general. He threw the fucking phone in the dryer and turned it on. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got pissed off that he did that, and then he fucking and then he rammed his fist into a wall. <laughs> He was like, son of a fucking Bruh. bitch. There, 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 during the election, he called the... Oh, man, I'm not going to say No, uh, we shouldn't say that. <clears throat> um, oh, he did something fucking crazy. Oh, man. Yeah. But yeah. Um, it's okay, though. He don't he, drink anymore. Well, he's, he, what had happened was he had time... <laughs> he, he smokes a lot of weed, right? What had happened was, uh-huh. What happened was that he would get drug tested, or he knew about drug tests coming up, yeah. so he couldn't smoke for like a month. Yeah, and so he would stop smoking weed, mm-hmm. and then he'd start drinking, and yeah. things things were not I good. Remember that the, <laughs> things were not good during those times. You know, I, remember, <laughs> I remember Cam called me like his eyes would be like wide open. Be like, Man, I, got, I got to show you something, right now. <laughs> and you just hear Bradley just I, screaming I, at the top of his God lungs damn, in the background. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Jennifer coming like, you want to watch a movie? And he'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm not dealing with this shit today. He's like, I don't want to <laughs> deal with you. <laughs> you just hear him like, we'd be on the phone with Cam, and then you just hear him in the background. He'd be like, God, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he would yeah. get pissed. You you just hear you just hear stomping and door slamming and man I I swear to God I will never ever forget that one time that that Cam and I was upstairs that one back at the old house yeah back at the old, in front of Doug Roney's oh yeah <laughs> oh Doug Roney oh, oh Doug, Doug. Ro- shout out Doug shout and out Doug he had to get up at five o'clock a.m. <laughs> he really no 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 he had to be at work at five o'clock a.m. <laughs> <laughs> the and was he up lives. Before. <laughs> yes, and he lives a fucking like thirty minutes away, mm-hmm. and me and Cam was up <coughs> all fucking night being loud as fuck. We was like listening to music. <laughs> we was like getting stupid high. But was I there? Or was it just you and Cam? I, it was just me and Cam at the time. You was probably there earlier during the day, and everybody had went home. But we had stayed up, and it was like one a.m., two a.m., and then later on it got to like three a.m. <laughs> And man, we were still being kind of rowdy, and we, we kind of settled down a little bit. And then we we laid down there, and we was like about to go to sleep, and then we just kept laughing. <laughs> we literally just kept laughing. And then I heard something <laughs> slam in the, in the background. Like we're upstairs, and I heard something slam, and then Cam pretend to be asleep. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I swear to God, because all I heard was. <laughs> just in the fucking <laughs> it's like dead silent in the whole house and then I hear that and then I hear and then I hear fuck <laughs> <laughs> and then he and and then I swear to god all I hear and I'm like what the fuck is that and then it gets dead ass silent <laughs> and Cam, Cam dude. it gets dead ass silent no, but before you go to your father, didn't didn't Cam pretend to be asleep and then, and then Cameron looked at me with wide eyes. He was like, 
That's Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God, and then I hear his fucking door. I hear his door fucking slam open and then slam shut, super duper loud, way downstairs. And I'm like, oh fuck. And then I hear fucking. Fu- I hear up the steps, boom, boom, boom. And it's like getting close. It's like it's like getting closer and closer. And I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> And he oh, he slams the door open and he, he looks at me. He says, "Get the fuck out of here!" He was like, "It's four o'clock in the goddamn morning." He was fucking pissed. I I didn't know what to do. I looked around. I was like, "Bradley," I, uh, he was like, "I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of here now!" And I was like, oh, "Okay, shit, all right, bro. all right, all right." And I fucking grabbed my shit and fucking left. I'm fucking dead. I really did. Did I ever tell you about that shit, Seth? Yeah. Seth, you got to tell him about that time you put up at fucking like 3 o'clock in the morning. You just came to the same thing, dude. I was literally. I don't know what I was thinking. For some reason, I thought it was the weekend still. Um, And I was. This is back before my speakers went out in my car. And those things were so loud. Yeah. They were so loud. And I had those things on max blast. I was flying through the cul-de-sac, coming down the hill. I about damn about near drift into the gravel driveway. <laughs> and I, I'm going to the gravel driveway. Like, I, the thing is, like, when you play music real loud, like, for me, I, I would get more, I drive faster. So I was flying down there, and I come and I whip it around into the, the, into the yard. I put it in park. The speakers are still loud. I'm sitting here in the car. Just sitting in back the park. wherever they was rattling. Yeah, and they're going. Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> oh god! And the thing is, like, Dad's bedroom's right here, and my car's right here, and you just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, for about after like 30 seconds, I'm sitting there in the park. I'm like, oh, let's turn off the radio. Bro, or not the radio. Look, look, before you say that shit, bro, me and Camera is upstairs, bro, and all you hear is that fucking hit that motherfucker, <laughs> hit the motherfucker, hit the motherfucker. What? This shit right here. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you just hear one fucking door oh. just fucking open and slam, and uh-huh. then all of a sudden you hear. <laughs> <laughs> and he waited at the door. He waited at and the door, and he was like damn near sprinting. I swear to God, he waited at the fucking door. He laid a bro. trap. <laughs> he waited at the fucking door, and then fucking as soon as Seth comes, he's like, in, nope, bro. don't, nope, nope. Don't even what, come what in here. What do you say, Seth? What do you say? Okay, so I, I turn across. <laughs> I walk. Everything's dead side. I'm thinking everything's a okay. I'm like, yeah. man, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what Cam's up to. And I, mm. I, I remember you were there too. I saw the cars. Like, oh, Jay, let's hear. I'm gonna see what everybody's up to. I can't wait to talk to him. And then before I can even grab the doorknob. <laughs> The door disappears into the darkness of the night. <laughs> into the abyss. And I just feel all the air around me being sucked into the house because he, the door got pulled open like at like 100 miles oh, per hour. Oh, no. I went, to, I went to go grab it. I tried to grab the door handle, and the door handle went, it went, and I was like, what the fuck? And I still had my arm out like this, and I just hear, do you know what? God damn, God damn. <laughs> and I could literally... I couldn't see my dad, but I just felt his breath coming out of the darkness hitting me in the face. You just felt his presence. It felt his presence. I was like, God damn, it's the devil. And, I, was, yeah. and I, I still had my arm out like this, and I didn't even say nothing. I was so pressured for it. I was like, dude, this is like, I'm in shock right now. This is fucking phenomenal. And, and then my left hand had a damn job application from the damn gas station. <laughs> and then you and just I, fucking I, left. He said, do you, I don't even remember what he said. I just remember, like, it was pure aggression. It yeah. was like pure aggression hit my face. And I didn't even say nothing. I just turned around and walked away. <laughs> he said, okay, be that way then. And he just slams the door. <laughs> and the, the, I look back and the French doors are doing this. They're like vibrating. <laughs> yes. And all the blinds were going. Chow, 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 chow. Man, he used to slam that door like that all oh the time. And I was like, no, where the door don't work. He used to slam the fuck out of that door. <laughs> and then Bro. sometimes you show up and he's like, oh, hey, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> you never like, knew hey, <laughs> What's up, bud? What's up, bud? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, man. Oh, man. Did uh-huh. I ever tell you guys one time he, he accidentally locked himself in the basement? Oh, uh, Did he really? Did he really? He, he used to, if you ever looked at the basement door and there's like chunks missing out of it, it's because he took a crowbar and ripped the, the door open. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. Whoa. I don't know. I only been down to the basement like one time, bro. Yep. 
Like one time. Yeah, like one time. Yeah, you said somebody told you it was haunted and you never ever went back. No, I just never went down there, bro. <laughs> I yeah. never went down there that it was? time. Uh, no, it wasn't. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't completely I don't know. Haunted. My brothers, they locked me down there. And pl- like, when I was little, they'd turn all the lights off and then they'd lock me down there. And they'd be like, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> and, they, and they and they play damn Halloween like scary sounds on this big oh, stereo. Shit. Oh, fuck. and so you know, like it'd be, you'd hear ghosts or like creaking and stuff. And uh-huh. I was like seven. I was like, dude, this is not. Oh good. shit! This is not good. <laughs> and then and they'd lock me down there, and I, it'd be pure black darkness, and they would play like a tape on a on a big stereo. They're like Bloody That's Mary, really Bloody scary. Mary, and it'd just be pitch black, and you just went. I don't know what the fuck to do. Oh wow! There'd yeah. be like carnival noises and fucking like ghosts and clowns like. <laughs> oh yeah, and I was and it'd stuck. be pitch black. It was pitch That'd black, and you don't know where the fucking I lights didn't know, are. I didn't know where the lights were. You couldn't even reach the lights, no, even if you could find them. I was like three. Oh my gosh! And that three? Yeah, I was little. Whoa, three or four? Because when we moved into that place, uh huh, like two thousand one maybe. Yeah, like three or four when we moved there. Crazy. God damn, that's fucking crazy. I mean, it fucked you over like that. It was fun. It was. I mean, looking back I mean, at it, it was I, chill. You looking know, looking back at it, I laugh at it. But at that time, I thought I was done. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you thought it was over for. Right? Yeah. yeah, I was like four. I didn't. I bet understand. that shit is spooky. I bet that shit would be spooky now. Nah, nah, sure. nah. We're gonna get a fog machine. Where? For here. For here. Yeah, for Halloween, we're gonna have a bunch of fog in here. We're gonna have a podcast. I wonder if that's gonna be safe to. Breathe. Man, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> no, it'll be That'd fine. Be right. It's a fog machine. It, the fog will lay on the ground like this. Oh, yeah. You know? um, Or not. It'll be totally hot boxed in here, but it'll look cool. You ever been scared of the dark? That's how I got scared of the dark, because of my brothers. Have you, Jalen? I mean, before I say my answer... If you really think about it. We're always scared of the dark. No. <laughs> it's not what I was going to say. All of us, just all the time. No, what I was going to say is you was born in the darkness. If you think about it. Huh? You was born in darkness. Hell no. I was born in a lit up hospital, brother. No, in the womb. Well, you're not born yet. Yeah, but I mean, like, you starting, everything's starting to come together, though. Like, you was in there. Like, you was still alive. You was just in there thugging that shit out. But you was in the darkness. So where'd you come from? I came from nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you just materialized in a room. Yep. I just Started fucking. from the bottom now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I mean, think about it. Right. You really did start from nothing. Everybody did. Like one cell. Started from yep. one sperm cell. Yep. Yeah, out of like 300 million. You won. You won. You you were born a winner. You won. Did you, you were sneeze? No, I coughed. You were literally born a winner. You won another shot. Mm. You gonna take another one? If you take one, I'll take one. You want me to say bless you? For what? Oh, I didn't for a coffin sneeze. in your arm. Wow. It was like a sneeze. It wasn't a sneeze. If it was a sneeze, what do you, you would have heard it. It would have been like... I didn't sound like a sneeze. Yeah, but can you say bless you? For what? Coffin? Yeah, but can you not just say bless you in general? Like bless you. You know what? You know who I always hear like say bless, bless up. you? Like bless you. Know, you always know, bruh. Every time in fourth grade, bro, uh-huh. you be telling somebody, like you'd be telling your teacher about somebody that, that that's done did some shit that where they fucked up, and they'd be like, "Oh, bless them, yeah, yeah you know what I'm talking yeah. about, bless you, bless them, bless them." They be doing that shit right there. God bless you. Mm-hmm. I remember people would say, "God bless you," whenever God you sneeze you. too. You know why God that started though? Why? Because when people sneeze, they thought that your soul was trying to escape your body. That's why they say bless you. I've heard t- I've heard multiple different stories. What's Somebody else on the podcast said something else about it. What and then say? also I've also heard something else about your heart stops. That might be true too. Your what heart? do you what do you think or what did you hear? That's what I heard. Well, somebody else said something else on I the didn't podcast know that. that was similar to I, it, both I never of them. really thought about the origins of But I don't remember people. what the fuck. And they actually said it and I was like, "What the fuck?" Mm-hmm. And I don't remember. I mean, it's like you is that really shitty of me? What for not remembering yeah. something? What yeah. if I forget? That's shit? fucked up, bro. But it is fucked up. You're a fucked up person. <laughs> 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 nah, bro, you're the fucked worst up. person ever for that, bro. You didn't even remember what the fuck they said about your podcast, even though you've had like fifty of them. 
Oh, uh, this is the fifty first. Is, is it, it really? Yeah. yeah, I swear to gobs. That's fucking crazy. Now have I ever swore to gobs and lied? Yesterday. Yep. I'll Yesterday. Say yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll say yeah. When? You swore to everything and lied. Okay, tell me when. Tell me when I, I swore to gobs and lied. I can't tell you when. It was probably some time when you was fucked up, I was fucked up. There's been a lot of days. There's been like years. Or we've been fucked up in the brain. Foot up in the head, foot up in the head, foot up in the brain, yeah, foot up in the head, foot up in the brain, yeah, foot up in the head, foot up in the head, yeah, foot up in the brain. Yeah, foot up in the head, foot up in the brain, foot up in the head, yeah, foot up in the brain. Okay. Yeah, foot up in the brain, foot up in the head, foot up in the head, yeah, foot up in the brain. Ooh, what? Huh? Foot up in the butt, foot up in the who? Foot up in the head. Whoa, 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 I heard something about fucking in the butt. I said fucked up in the who, fucked up in the what? Oh, okay, you said fucked up in the what? Yeah, fucked up in the brain. All right, okay, I thought you said something. Fucked up in the huh? I thought you said fuck the Foot up in the who? Uh, foot up in the head, foot up in the brain. Foot up in the head, yeah, foot up in the brain. Whoa, yeah, foot up in the brain. Foot up in the head. Foot up in the head, yeah, foot up in the brain. Where did, you got to tell them where that originated from. I have no idea. It just came to you. It just came really? to me. I've actually been saying it for the past few days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of out of left field, kind of. I was like, yeah. surprised. I was like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I really have no idea. This is an anomaly. It's, I did some sort of fucked up shit. And I was like, why did I do that? And then nobody answered. I was like, it's probably because I'm fucked up you in the head. You were talking about something about the hus, too. Like when you, see it's not, you, were, you were like interrogating Sierra to say it <laughs> for your own pleasure. You're like, say it, say it, say it. And then she goes, huh, the hus. <laughs> I bring the hus. Uh, yeah, the hus. It der- that was derived from hush. Hus. Yeah. The hus. hus. And then it turned into something completely fucked up. Yeah, you. you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just how my, all my sayings go. Is yeah. I start saying something fucking the off hus. the wall, and then I, when you see us in the hus, you better hus the hus up. All eyes on hus. Yeah, and you know what that comes from? <laughs> well, that comes from hush, but that also comes from uh, like because we used to say we we say hus, mm-hmm. like hus, hus. You know what I'm saying? Instead of hush. That's your old. Yeah, hus. When you see us in the hus, you better hus to hus up. All lies on hus, and that is from the damn. When you see us in the club, all lies on us. Mm-hmm. You know what that's from? What's that from? I wanna scream and shout and let it all out and scream and shout and let it out. You know what that is? We screaming oh we oh. You know what that's from, right? Oh. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, we need to pump them. We need to pump the numbers up. You need to be jerking off at least five times a day. Five <laughs> times. Plus, <laughs> like some cocaine. <laughs> so what is that? He's like, yeah, he's like <laughs> you know how you get past this Wall Street shit, man. Yep. Hookers and cocaine. Hookers and cocaine. Yes, sir. Holy shit, would you ever buy a hooker? I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> what was that one drug they took? <laughs> <laughs> Quaaludes. 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 Yeah. Quaaludes. It was like some super duper Quaaludes. Like that they fucking didn't make no more. It was like not manufacturing. It was super expensive, but they used to take them. Yeah, but y'all dodging a question that I What'd you what, say? What is it? Would y'all ever buy a hooker? No. No. Never? Would you? Why? No, I would. <laughs> I would never ever do that. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I would real? never ever. To each their own. For you real. know what I'm saying? For wow. real. Okay, but if you was to, why would? You? Oh, okay. Now, if I was to, that's a different story. If I was to, why would I? Yeah. <sighs> Just to bust a nut and leave. <laughs> You dig what I'm saying? But like... Just to get it off. Would it not cross your mind? But then at the same time, and I know what you're about to say, and then at the same time, all that shit too. <laughs> so then I'm like, well, I don't know about all that fucking shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think the concept of it is more cool than the actual action of it. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'd like to be a pimp. Really? No, <laughs> that pimping ain't easy, bro. Pimping ain't easy, bro. Pimping ain't easy, bro. Pimping ain't easy. That shit, especially with. Hey, I ain't even gonna speak on that. Especially with the nah. shit. You know what I'm saying. Especially nowadays. 
Pimp, you can't. Oh, pimp. You could run OnlyFans stuff. I mean, I guess you could call I mean, them pimps. pimps. Yeah, like in a like a digital format. Yeah, pimps. Pimps. What's up? What the fuck are you talking about? What's up, pimp? <laughs> have you been drinking? <laughs> no, I've been on crack. Shot? <laughs> you want, you want Whoa. I've been on crack, Seth. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, Seth, I do not drink anymore. I sophisticated. I. <laughs> I only, <laughs> I am only sophisticated in crack. <laughs> I'm only sophisticated. I only what dabble the in the art of crack. <laughs> <laughs> I only, only do in the art of crack and cut can. I only do high Which potency whole drugs. <laughs> I only do high potency drugs. Self. And you just put a needle and jab you. Self to death on meth, shooting the ref with the political views on the left. Don't be saying that. And I got the F. No, it's okay if our political views are on the left. We will get promoted. What if the political views are on the right, and they be saying shit? Then we'll get spite. canceled. Oh, oh! You're then that just ain't going. right. That calls for a shot, and I'll just have to fight. But what if you ain't right, and then you bust a left, but then you make a right? Because if Whoa. you make three lefts, then that's one right. Then I'll bust a nut and then fly a kite. You bust a nut and then fly a kite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna pray to God with all his might. Oh, oh shit. shit! But don't swear to God because that ain't right. But I ain't gonna swear to God. I'm gonna pray to God, and if I pray to God, I'm gonna be with God. And then if I be with God, you gonna be with God, and you gonna be out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Man, that is, that's hard. Hey, Foot up in the head. Foot up in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> You know what the fuck I'm saying? I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I sophisticated. <laughs> I am sophisticated and your eyes go cross eyed. Me sophist me sophisticated. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> but what the fuck is We're that? just gonna get to the point where we're just doing stupid shit for views. <laughs> we're like, Eric, I'm look at this. Ah. You like <laughs> I can start beating my head with the fucking mic. The fuck? You should start, start headbutting the fuck out of something. What the fuck are you looking it? at? What the fuck are those people <laughs> doing over there? Who is that? Are you fucking with me right who's now? In our, who's in our house? Have all those people been sti- sitting there that whole fucking time? <laughs> are you fucking me right now? Have all those people been some, sitting there the whole fucking we got time? Some what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck are y'all that calls doing? That for a shot. A shot? Are I you going to take a shot? I'll fucking take a shot. Fuck yeah. Let's You're going to take a shot? Yeah. Take a, you, y'all got to do I'll it take on a the, shot on the fucking camera right now. Y'all got to do it on the podcast. Now. You're going to do it on the podcast? I don't give a fuck, bro. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. Go, I've already cleaned out the shot glasses again. I'm going to go grab them. Y'all are about to get a fucking... Y'all are about to pay for my OnlyFans because I got fucking paint feet. Look at that. Look at that, motherfucker. Look at them pretty little fucking... Paint feet. People actually fuck with that. And they're actually going to pay me good money for this, too. Look at my toes wiggling. Um, Think about that. I, no just, I just did that, and then some people's going to be whacking off to that. Is that gay? Hold on. Um. Is that gay for me? If what? If Let's think about this for a second. Oh, God. Mm. Let's think about Help this. Us all. So say that you and me, you or me, could make good fucking money selling our feet pics on OnlyFans, right? Selling the feet pics on OnlyFans. Okay. So if we were to sell our feet pics on OnlyFans... And then other dudes whack off to it, but we're not gay. We're just making money. Does that make us gay that other dudes are whacking off to us? No. Really? I would say no. Why? Do, I mean, it's like <clears throat> we uh, we got to get good, real serious good, about this. What's a good analogy, bro? It's like that is a no, no, no. I'm saying what's <laughs> a good analogy to explain? A good if you uh, post some shit, but like. You can't control who watched the shit. Yeah, but... You know what I'm saying? You can't control <laughs> who watched the shit. It's not like you made that shit for them. 
unless you did. Yeah. But then if you did, that would be kind of gay. <laughs> but if you didn't, and then it just so happened, and them motherfuckers just came around and just seen that shit. But what if you like, know, though? What if they know? And what if you know that they are going to be whacking off to your shit? I mean... But that's... A, and they're they're paying you a good amount of money. I mean, that's kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of gay in a way, bro. Kind of gay in a way. Yeah, it's kind of gay in a way. So, but see, but see, at the same time, so see, look, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put it like this. Uh, if that's the case, if it's kind of gay in a way, yeah, does that mean that all the porn stars that be fucking women and then these dudes be fucking to it? They be we jerking their dick. Off. Does that mean that the fucking porn stars are gay? The dude ones. When they're oh, fucking the girls, does that mean that they're gay? Because dudes, does that mean that the dude's whacking off to the porn and there's a fucking pecker in it? Does that mean that it's gay? I'm just saying, does, you're talking about if the dude... No, so, I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Does that make the fucking the dude porn star that's fucking the girl <laughs> that's a porn star, and he knows that dudes are going to be whacking off to that shit, does that make him gay? Because there's dudes whacking off to that shit. I don't know if it necessarily makes him gay because he's doing the girl, and there's a guy in the back filming it. But I maybe it makes the people gay that's whacking off to it i mean bro it's just it's too complicated i mean think about it it's complicated because i it's mean like if that i mean goes, i used to watch that shit does that mean i'm gay i don't got the answers man <laughs> i would just say bro what you say? i'd say just a, don't even watch it Avoid it, porn. It'll, it'll, yeah, porn's not good it's for not you. Good for Avoid you. porn at all costs. That shit fucks up your goddamn brain. Yeah, it's definitely. Real. It definitely that does. Shit'll fuck you up. That shit'll fuck you. That shit yeah. will fuck that you. That shit'll fucking key. You think you're getting fucked, but that yeah. shit's fucking you. That shit'll fucking key. Yeah. And it'll make you fucked up in the head, fucked up in the brain, fucked up in the head, yeah, fucked up in the brain, fucked up in the brain, fucked up in the head, fucked up in the head, yeah, fucked up in the brain, fucked up in the head, yeah, fucked up in the brain, yeah, fucked up in the brain, yeah, fucked up in the head. Ooh, what? Uh, yeah. Now that's badass. Look at that shit. That's fucking badass. So, and from what we're talking about, too. So, now we're about to get into some deep shit. So. We're already in the shit, man. We're already pretty deep. So, if women are posting sexual pictures of themselves, right? You see where I'm going with this? If they're posting sexual pictures of themselves. And... Dudes are then sexualizing the women's because they are posting themselves as sexual objects. Why would they get mad if they're being sexualized? They have no reason to be mad. That's the real answer. Why? Are you talking about like girls like on OnlyFans selling? Just girls in general. <clears throat> what do you mean? Yeah, and girls and just, and OnlyFans because girls, girls be posting girls pictures of their like titties that. too on Instagram for for free for girls free like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, girls, not only for free but for fucking attention. Exactly. Yeah, girls like that want to have their cake and eat it too. But I'm here to tell them they. What are you here that to tell you them? Fucking can't. You can't have unless your cake. you gonna have a unless you gonna eat have your cake and eat it with a sucker, with a sucker, because there's there's mother, but then you can't you exist. still can't have the cake and eat it too. Let's think about this: if you have cake, if you have a slice of cake on your plate right now, mm-hmm. and you want that cake, and you want to eat it. If you eat it and you still want cake afterwards, you can't have any more cake because you already ate your cake. That's the way I see it. What is the question? <laughs> well, what you said something about OnlyFans girls or, or something like that? Not or only like, OnlyFans or, girls. I'm talking talk, about you're just talking about like a like say for example a girl she posts like a provocative picture. A provocative pic, yeah. For a Attention. For attention. For attention. Yeah. What about it? Um, why would they be mad that Oh. 
guys are sexualizing them whenever they are sexualizing themselves. Sexualizing it isn't the guy themselves. they want to sexualize them. You said what? It isn't the guy that they want to sexualize them. Oh. That's factual. Okay, that is factual, actual. That's actual factual. It, it's for a certain guy. Oh. The guy they want. Yeah, but what if all the guys that are commenting on it are the guys that she don't want? Oh, exactly. exactly. It's the guy she don't. The, so the she's guy, weeding the guy, them all out. So the guy that is, don't give a fuck about her goddamn well, tits. Well, it, it's the guy that it's. It's the guy like that don't give a fuck. It's like I don't give a fuck about those titties. Kind of the I want your personality. Well, so good. <laughs> yeah. well, fuck I don't like your shit. titties. I like your personality. If you want the body to drop, aim for the head. Say that again. If you want the body to drop, aim for the head. Mm. <laughs> All right. You heard that. You heard that. Loud and clear. That's badass. That's, I, mean, I mean, if you're smart, you would. There's a there's a fucking a method to the madness. Learn the methods. Learn, I mean, the, that, you, learn the methods so it's not you. You see those type of guys. They're just so mad about out there. mad and bitter, but it's just like, look, man. Yeah. You got to put the work in. You got to put the work in, and then you get the work out. Yeah. More Hell weight. Yeah. More yeah. weights. More dates. Yeah. Yeah. J. Cole. Shout out J. Cole. The workout. I fuck with J. Cole. Want to see you work out for me, work out for me. And we got a good thing. I don't know if I'm going to see you again. Like four or five niggas, so you know you got to multiply by three. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you do, don't you? Oh, God. You think girls but are... At, at the end of the day, you really never know, because it's up to her to tell you the truth. See, yeah, that's what is crazy, bro. It's like, I was really thinking, like, if you really fuck with a girl that, like, you, like, that's in your hometown type shit... Like, you kind of get to know, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you around everybody that, you know, she could possibly fuck with. Yeah. And then everybody be like, ah, oh, nah, I don't want to fuck with nobody I grew up with. And I'm a, I want a foreign bit. But Damn. with a foreign bit, you don't know what the fuck she's going to be. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? The best way to get to know that, though, uh-huh. is to be you foreign be, yourself. You know, you got to be chill. You got to oh. be like. You got to be chill. You got to aim for the head. If aim that makes sense, you, you got to make her feel comfortable in telling you that sort of stuff. Just Most pop her instead in the of, noggin. Instead of, instead of being real judgmental, you just got to exactly. be real chill about it real yeah. and listen. You got to be a good listener. Yeah. Ask high quality questions. Just be like, just be honest. You know, how many dudes you, have you fought? No, you don't have to, you don't <laughs> you have to really say that. that. Just, just be honest. That. How many? You'll, you'll figure that out through conversation. And you have to not give a fuck whenever she's like. You have to not judge her once she tells you. Because if yeah. you do, then she's going to feel uncomfortable. She's going to feel uncomfortable. She's going to start putting up boundaries. And then that's when the up. boundaries come up. But if yep. that bitch says a hundred, I'm going to be like. Well, in the back the of your. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the back of your head, you can say that. But on the front of your face, you got to be like. Yeah, oh, just to get some pussy. Up. That's what's up. Depends on what you want. And then, no, if the bitch says any more than fucking. Cat's got nine lives. Cat's got, Cat's got nine depends lives. Depends on what you want. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yep. Depends on what you want, though. I'd say if it's more than, yeah. I'd say that, too. I mean, it's like, you know. You know, Dan Dan Bilzerian disagrees with that, though. See, that's what I, that's what I was saying. That's what I was getting ready to say, bro. That nigga, he said he don't give a fuck. He said he don't give a fuck. Andrew Tate said he don't give a fuck. Andrew no, Tate Andrew said, Tate said that he does give a fuck. No, no, no. Andrew Tate said if the if the, if the fucking female is on some whole promiscuous shit, you can still goddamn make her wifey material, even though they say you can't make a whole. You housewife. can't. He said you can turn a hoe into a housewife. It's just going to be a headache. It, yeah, you gotta yeah. be on top of shit. Definitely. You have to be... Here. Yeah, but there's also the case that... There's also the case that the more sexual experience that has been had, the more fucked up in the head and fucked up in the brain. And the less chance of... You know what para, I'm saying? The less chance of parabonding. Yeah, it's yeah, harder, it's harder, it's harder to parabon. Exactly. Definitely. That stuff is true, but you the thing is, is if you know all that stuff, then you can maneuver a lot easier. Yeah, that's why you just start off with the question on a first date. So how many, <laughs> how many and dudes you fuck? Still not gonna answer truthfully. She'll eventually probably ask you what your body count is at some point. And I'll be like, I'd probably be more. I'll like, be like, I, I don't really kiss. I'm a virgin. I'll be like, 
That's my famous yeah. answer. Be some shit like that. You know, I don't kiss and tell. I don't kiss. And, you you got to make uh, something the, along the lines mm-hmm. of that. That's yeah. what I would personally do because my I mean, go-to answer. You're gonna be judged if it's high. You're gonna be judged if it's, if it's low. You're gonna be judged. So might as well just be like, I don't kiss and tell because I mean honestly I don't. Yeah, but my go-to answer was always I'm a virgin. Always. And they push on it. I'd be like, no, I've actually never did any girls. But that's a lie. Yeah, but they know that it's a lie. <laughs> you have to be Let's authentic, see. especially if it's if they know if they know other girls that I've been with. Yeah, but the thing I, I would say that's more authentic is just like I don't kiss and tell. So whatever you do with me, nobody else knows about except for me and you. So that is like a play on thing, like where okay. it makes them feel more. Because some girls they don't care if actually, everybody right. knows, and some girls do. So the best yeah. thing to do is just keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Be like, I don't fucking know. I don't know what my body count is. I just be like, I don't know. That's kiss what you tell. usually say. <laughs> <laughs> but you probably don't know. That's what they got. <laughs> you probably don't know. I know that's bad. <laughs> I mean, or no, is it? Not, I, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> not for you. De- depends on what type of woman Damn you want. Some girls would think, find that very attractive. Yeah, because if a lot of other girls wanted you, then that must mean like, you're, I don't you're, know. you're, I really you're don't. desirable. <laughs> I actually think that that was my last answer that I uh, answered with a that ass. I remember, I heard it. <laughs> really? I, heard it I heard that. I heard that scenario play out a couple of times, bro. Like how many? Uh, like I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't give a fuck. I really don't know. <laughs> just, that's, that's, Why the fuck does it matter? Yeah, it's like part of that nonchalant attitude. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. in the same sentence, I'll be like, "So how many is yours?" <laughs> yeah, because I'm gonna judge you right now. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> I'm gonna judge the fuck out of you. <laughs> yes. Seriously, I think oh, that we that we man. need more guys that actually judge on that. Nah, shit. you know what's crazy though? If everybody had. Their body count on their forehead. based on their forehead on their forehead. I know what you're saying. What would you, what would you do? Would you think that the world would be a better place? I think the world would be a way better place, but it, but that's just not reality, though. It's not reality. It's but not see, reality, but it's a what if situation. What if, yeah, but it's just, it's a hypothetical. Some people get caught up in what ifs. Yeah, True. but this is a good what if. It is a good. It's, what it's if. a good what if. What but do you it, think, Seth? What, <laughs> what do you think the outcome? What do you think the world would look like if everybody from the beginning of their existence in this hypothetical situation, in this hypothetical situation, if in the beginning of their existence they had their body count number on their forehead? Yes, I think there would be a lot of more and marriages that lasted a lifetime because those people I agree. Each other. Because let me tell you. I it's, agree. It's slim pickings. It's slim pickings. You know what's pickings. really interesting is that a lot of times, like some of the girls that you think wouldn't be relationship material, you, uh, you, they turn out to be relationship material if you talk to them. Yeah. On the front end, if you look at them, you're like, you're like yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What you trying to say? Elaborate. I, I, I'm just so I oblivious to everything. I, I don't get what you meant by that. I don't know. <laughs> At first, it's like it's like, oh, you're just you just getting taken advantage. Of. All right, I'm here to help you. Yep. <laughs> At first, you're just here to bust a damn nut, and then you just never run. <laughs> yep. Nah, but it'd be like that, bro. It'd be like that too. Yeah. Like, when you, <laughs> you, when you <laughs> think about a bit like you, you ever seen you ever It'd seen be a like jump? that. It do be like that. When you ever seen yeah. a jump and you be like, I would and then you start talking to it and then you be like, damn. Oh, damn, I might actually smash. You want some other shit. Yeah. You're yeah. like you're like you, know you're like, you don't annoy me too much. Like, yeah. like you're Or there's the chill. other there's the other ones that they're like they're like freaking smoking and then you're like you like go up Get to the them. Fuck away from me. And then you start talking to them and then you're like, God damn, shut the fuck <laughs> up. You're like, fuck. Get the fuck. I mean, fuck. Son of a... Yeah, I can't do that. Usually, from like my experience, some of the most beautiful women are that are yeah. actually the chillest. Some of them. Yeah. Some, some of them are bitches. I mean, we, the, it's straight it, up it, though. It's a, some it's a of, mixed bag. Some of them. Some of them is just a mask. You know what I'm saying? The bitchiness is just a mask. And then yeah, once you start well, getting you know. into it. And then they, it, then, well, you know it, what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, then, it's like a front to protect themselves. But if you actually, that's what I'm saying. You need to be authentic because yeah. you can get through that. Because exactly. Think, and then there's some of them, when you get up to them, you just want to be like, fuck, fuck, 
<laughs> oh, fuck shit. Bullshit. <laughs> like, get the, f- nah. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah. That'd be badass. But nah, women are cool, bro. I no, cool. Yeah, yeah, they're chill. We ain't, we ain't fucking uh, misogynistic. I'm not a misogynist. I swear to God, I'm not. I'm a real feminist, bro. Seriously. Fuck that, that, fuck, that feminism shit that y'all got Fuck out that now. modern day feminism. Feminist. I'm a real feminist, bro. Why you think, chill? You think girls should have armpit hair? I mean, I don't know. It's up to them. I mean, really? Like for me personally, no. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm well, I mean, uh, talking about personal preference. Personal preference. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, no. they can do whatever the fuck they want to. We can go ahead and get that out of the. Fu- you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Nobody gives a nobody fuck gives, what you do. Nobody gives a fuck what you want to do. What do. The fuck you want? Do whatever do. the fuck you want to do, and we shouldn't have to fucking sit here and say this every time that we have a goddamn conversation about this. Shit. Yeah, because y'all want to fucking yap and yap and yap. Get the fuck out of my ear with that shit. Don't give a fuck. Never Don't give a, a fuck, fuck about what the fuck you do. Personally, so anyways, though, personally though, yeah, no, no, yeah, I wouldn't want to <laughs> see that fuck shit. that shit. No. What you, self? I wouldn't want that either. I mean, like personally, I mean, it just seems. What about leg hair? No. Nah. Look, I would say again, bro. J Cole reference, right? Uh huh. She bald like an eagle. No, not up top, but down there. Say she uh-huh. want to hop on top, girl. I don't care. Uh uh-huh. simple. simple. Yeah. You just a simpleton? No. Nah. <laughs> I like women that take care of themselves. Most okay. Definitely. Yeah, but what about in Europe? In Europe, what they be on in Europe? I don't. You, you they be having armpit hair. What are you talking about in France? Yeah, and just that. I think that's just a European thing too. A cultural thing. Yeah, a cultural like in thing. India, they they won't wear like um, uh, like uh, deodorant. Yeah, they don't wear deodorant in the in India. What they what they use? They don't, nothing. They, nothing. They don't use nothing. Yeah, deodorant's mm-hmm. actually not good for you. What about natural deodorant? Still not good for you. I, so I what know. is it? What, what the fuck are you it's supposed to do? So shit. if everybody, if everybody so you stinks, take a shower and you probably smell good for like an hour or two. Then after that, it starts. Yeah. Know. So like, what are you supposed to do? You just supposed to just be. I guess they just. Like I think. <laughs> they, I think what would happen is like since it's like the whole country, they, just, they kind of become nose blind to it. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, yeah. If you actually are, then nobody. If everybody stinks, then nobody stinks. I mean, I just can't get with that's, that. that. Yeah, but when you talk about the cultural thing in France, too, where they don't shave their legs or, exactly. or armpits, that's just like, I guess that's normal for them. Yeah. But over here, it's like everything's kind of took it to the extreme with like. Nah, yeah, it is, bro. Like, it used to not be like that, though. Uh, you know what I mean? No, it, 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 I feel like social media has definitely played a role in making Most things definitely. more extreme in that sense. Like, everybody's got to be yeah. held up to these Super. certain standards. I wonder where the where it came from that... It probably became... <sighs> it probably came from, like, a uh, um, making money point of view. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, or, or like... Yeah, I see what you're saying there, and I was just thinking about that in my head, but what about titties? What about them? You fuck with titties? Yeah. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fucking question is that? Yeah, I'm not gay. I'm the one. Titties, ass, face. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Before I go down on this tangent, before I go down on what I was about to say. So back to what we were saying earlier. <laughs> so say. Uh, Hypothetical situation. Hypothetical. Hypothet- completely hypothetical, so okay. anything's on the table. Okay. So you whacking your meat, right? Oh, <laughs> So you start... Listen, it's a hypothetical situation. So you have to put yourself in the shoes as if it's actually real. So you're sitting there whacking your meat, and you're watching some porno, <laughs> and you look at this nice woman. She's got nice titties, and it's going down from the from the top down and you're like damn this is a good one i finally found the one <laughs> and then you're just rubbing one out to it and you're like yeah going down <laughs> let me see it and then she goes all the way down and she's got a long slong <laughs> <laughs> but i'm acing off of that shit it's so fucking fast <laughs> oh my oh me i would I'm be off of that shit i would be enraged <laughs> And then I would get out of there. Because like, it's like, I feel like I've been deceived. 
<laughs> oh you God. have. I'm in the scene. Okay, okay, but better yet, let me get you a better one. I'm on the edge of violence at this point. <laughs> no, 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 no. Even better. I'm thinking extermination. Even better. The camera's like right here, and it hasn't even got there yet, and you're on the edge of coming. And then you're right there at it, and then right before it hits, as you that bust a nut, to me, as you bust a nut, you see it. No. Does that make you gay? <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, bro. You saying you just, you thinking everything Here's is the thing. all good and dandy, That's- fine and dandy, you about to bust, boom. As soon as you bust, the fucking meat shows up in your face. Are you gay? <laughs> What type of fucking scenario? Here's is the thing this, bro? that hasn't happened. And it will never happen because I don't. That's watch never that happened shit. to me, bro. I'll never. I don't watch that shit. It's been the two years. No, even when I was, two, three, but that never happened to me, bro. <laughs> even when I was, but that never Not happened to me because every time, bro, I did, bro, I would make sure. Like I would skip from like I was. I would probably skip. <laughs> he would like, like skip to the whole video to watch it. <laughs> oh God, I'd check it just to make sure. Just to be like, okay, yeah, not nah, okay. This is something I want. Okay, and then I run. It back, <laughs> like, okay. The bitch ain't got a dick. We're good. <laughs> then I'm running back and be like, okay, let's boot it up. Okay, all right. Story, okay. Story time. Okay, she's okay. All right. <laughs> and then you rewatch it again. And you're like, okay, that's a good one. And then I'm like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to another one. No, it's like a, it's like a real, real question. I mean, like, because dudes actually be doing that shit. I mean, and does it, it make? Be- <laughs> I mean, like, I would say if your intentions was not to be on some. <laughs> Or better yet, or better yet, back to what we was saying earlier, if we, if you was like watching one and you're whacking off to it, and then it cuts to the scene where the dude just gets done and it's just showing his dick, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you just accidentally, it's an accidental bust a nut, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't mean to bust a nut as it's showing his dick. Bro. This podcast is fucked up. <laughs> it's a fucked up fucking, podcast. I should have been at the gym. You should have been at the gym. <laughs> but here I am drinking smearing off vanilla vodka hearing about gay shit. Okay, fine. We'll get off the gay shit. Back to what I was saying. So you like titties, right? I like women. Okay, so dudes can have tits. Oh. I see what you did there. Yeah. I see what he did there. What he did there. Because some dudes have tits. Because you're just talking about it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Okay. So, you know how women in different countries, they can walk around with no shirt on? Since and when? Perfe- and it's perfectly fine. Like in, like I think in like Brazil. Well, I know where I'm going. <laughs> No, I mean, like, it's actually real. It's no, actually, I know, actually real. Or, like, Argentina or some shit like that. I don't remember. Mm. I don't know exactly. Interesting. Or, of course, there's, like, there's nude beaches and shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, right. that's a, yeah. That's interesting. But I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that because, I'm saying that because, like, because nowadays we see a woman on Instagram or some shit, and this is an, ar- and this is an argument for the feminist movement. So you can't ever say I'm not a feminist. So you see the women on Instagram and shit, and they have their titties out, and then everybody's sexualizing them. But in other countries or other have-you-nots, you know, whenever they see titties, they don't sexualize them. It's just, it's just like I- guys with pecs. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I just know when I see a fucking I know what nice I like. pair of titties, bro, <laughs> on a fucking female. I'm bro. just curious as to it is a, it, I mean, as to the cultural like, difference like and why I, there's a cultural you know what I'm difference. Like you like what it's you just like. your biological. I, you know, what I'm saying I'm preset really designed to, be to go like, and exactly like it's annihilate shit. you. Basically. It's like I, I like that shit. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? I like that. I, like, I, uh, I, you know, you will be do- you will be annihilated eventually. Like I, yeah, by me. Holy shit! That's just that's just what it is. I mean, if it wasn't, we'd be extinct. You're actually right. You know what I'm saying? For You're real. actually right. 
Cause think about it, bro. That's really what they're trying to create, though. They're Extinction. Trying to, they're trying to create a motherfucking a species that doesn't have no type of fucking. It doesn't have no way to re reproduce. Know, reproduce. Yeah. Trying to make you chop your dick off. Trying and they're all you, just. Uh, and there's there's you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. why you go to the gym. Yeah, it's get, all about pleasure and shit. Yeah. It's crazy. And they're like making machines. Crazy. They're like yeah. making machines where you just bust a nut. You, you need to stay away from that stuff and porn. Stay yeah. away from it. You need to stay away from that shit. Because it'll... I should have fucked you up. It ain't good. Yeah. It isn't good. should have fucking killed you. That shit will kill the fuck out of you. It will... I don't know. What it will it destroy your brain, your brain from the way. inside out. No, that should have definitely and it will the ruin fuck out of your brain. Your life. That should have fucked up your whole dopamine receptors. Like Exactly. It'll just get... Fucking, you're happy because you're fucking a machine. Yeah, that's, but you're not happy. But you're not happy. It's not you're the real deal. Getting pleasure because it's you're not the real deal. And then out of that, like once it's gonna get to a point to where it's not even gonna feel right. Like it's just gonna feel like yeah, like it's go- completely going against your bio, yeah. or your biology, and that's and your you're biological aware of it. needs. That's you're aware of it people. too, which makes you depressed. That's what exactly. I'm, that's what I was getting ready yeah. to say, bro. Exactly, because you see those type of guys, like, like incel type dudes. Mm-hmm. You know those guys yeah. that just hate women or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, they're just sitting there, and you look at them, you're like, dude, you look like the blob or something. Like something they, mm-hmm. you shouldn't exist. Yeah, you're, you're like a biological dead end. Yeah, you definitely need to get out there. Yeah. Hey, you but you, you there is actually, I actually believe that there are, like there are, there can be righteousness in celibacy. If you're the man, yeah. I actually, I actually believe that. Actually, man, because yeah. some dudes, I think actually some dudes and some women, because because there's always going to be those select people that just are never going to have any, you know. And I think that that is a calling, and it also calls for a bit a large amount of discipline as well, mm-hmm. because you have to well, control you have, your sexual desires. Well, Here's the thing, like, you, got, you have to be desirable. It's either, see, it'd be different I, if it was somebody who was, you know what I'm saying, on that shit, mm-hmm. compared to somebody who wasn't on that shit, then they not getting no, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to get nothing because they ain't getting on their shit. Because they ain't getting nothing. Yeah, but I'm talking about, well, I'm talking about also because Steven brought this up whenever I talked to Steven about this shit, mm. because he's a virgin, and he said that, you know, I mean, and we talked about it, and it, he was like he just hadn't found the right one, and maybe he's never going to find the right one. And he's he has okay. Narcolepsy. He's a, yeah. That's a tremendous thing that somebody will have to deal with. Yeah, but th- that's not what he's. That's not what he's concerned about. He's concerned about finding the right woman mm-hmm. to get married Nowadays, to and to have a marriage with. And exactly. In, and being where we are right now, you know this place that there ain't a big population. Here. Yeah. So there's not like a huge pool of options to choose from. Yeah. So more than likely, if he wants to find that, he needs to move to a place yeah. where, there, where there is going to be but options. See, that's the thing, though. If you move, yeah, you can like, you know what I'm saying? You can tell how somebody is based off of the way they act. But deep down, you're never going to really know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, they've did. And you're not going to be able to ver- verify that through social, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah. through social um constructs or whatever the fuck you want to call it because you don't know who the fuck them people is you just uh, moved yeah. there you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah, that's you, what i was talking you, about you earlier. don't know but your pool has increased dramatically you gotta right. think how many people live in taylorsville a couple thousand not a lot yeah a couple thousand maybe definitely move to hickory all i'm saying move is move to charlotte all i'm trying to say is either way whatever you want to do wherever you go you're fucked like you're just gonna have yeah. to you're gonna have to try to pick out the best thing that you can possibly get, whether that's moving away, or whether that's getting, you know what I'm saying, being wherever the fuck you at. You're going to yeah. have to, you know what I'm saying, weigh that shit out, pros and cons, like, okay, you know, every every dude know the process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ain't no the, need for me to go into details. Yeah. The, the, the best way to guarantee success is to become the man, in, in a sense. Go to the gym, dress well, groom yourself well, take care of your finances, you know, yeah. take care of your diet. Uh, present yourself well on social media. That does take a that takes a lot of time and a it lot does. of resources. Yeah, a lot to, and it takes years to get done, 
And a lot of dudes don't want to do that. And they instead, they'd like to sit around and complain about things, which is A-OK, because yeah. then those guys no longer are competition. Mm-hmm. And actually, if you want to learn about that shit, go watch the fucking videos, How to Get Your Fucking Life Together. Yeah. Part one, part two, and part three. Watch all that shit on Wholehearted Entertainment Media. If you want an That's attractive true. girl, you need to become attractive yourself. And that, as a dude, that, that goes way beyond just physical looks. Yeah, it, definitely. It goes into, like, charisma, intelligence, confidence. For being sure. able to lead a conversation. Honestly, be a good listener. Just Having listen. Have stories that go back Have to, stories. you know what I'm saying, times that you can talk about. Even though, you know what I'm saying, you want to do 70% of listening most of the time. Yeah, and a lot, I, like, for some guys, if you're more introverted, that's great because you don't like to talk. Just become a good listener. And ask high quality questions. Women like to talk. Just listen and remember the shit. Yeah, but so y'all don't y'all neither one of y'all believe that there's a there is a um a high, you know what is the word I'm looking for? Um so neither one of y'all believe that there is that it's okay to be completely celibate. I'm not saying that I don't uh, like. I'm not saying I I completely respect that in mm-hmm. its own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you got the if you got enough discipline to do that shit, bro, like yeah. props to you. It's not like that shit's not. And easy. I'm saying like it's not from the perspective of that they can't get any. It's from the perspective that they don't want to get any, and then they're saving themselves for the for a good one i get that shit for a like, good one and going out and because of, you know right a lot of the value the moral values of say the women nowadays i mean and men too but i'm saying if it's a man i'm speaking from a male perspective if it's a man looking out to getting to getting a woman and all of their no she they're not finding anybody with moral values that align with theirs and if they do, it's not who they want exactly, you know. What if they um, choose to be celibate? I mean, I think it's like I can un- I can understand that shit, but it's like you know, in this day and age, you're probably gonna be waiting a while for real, for real. You're gonna have to do a lot of searching, and the best way to get through a lot of those is to be- like I said, become the man. You have to be higher quality, and then you also have you have to participate in your own rescue. No mm-hmm. one's coming to save you, especially as a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to make your, you have to become the shit. You have to become the man. But what I'm saying, what if you already are? If you already are, you, just, you should already put a high price on yourself anyway. You shouldn't just be giving yourself out freely because honestly too, you have to worry about the other women, like who are they hooking up with and stuff because then yeah. it becomes a risk for you. That's what I'm and, saying. And, and, and it, it becomes a risk for you. So you need to go out there, just keep searching and, and it's, it's difficult. Yeah. It'll take, you probably, you're going to be going through a lot of like, think of that as like job applications. Treat it as if uh, you're trying to get a job. Yeah. Definitely. You got to you got, you got put gotta, in a, put in a hundred applications in, you might, you're going to find one good one for sure. You yeah. Gotta vet, but you got to vet your, you have to you know vet, vet the prospects. And that also takes sure. a lot of knowledge from these books. Uh-huh. Exactly. If you really, if you're really serious about it, you'll take the time to do it. If you're not, then you'll have to learn the hard way. For I sure. will say though, I will say though, even being celibate, I will say though, even though you're being celibate, there is a certain experience that you could probably never understand or like come to grasp with unless you actually experience it is when as far as when you're actually, you know what I'm saying, going through that full process with a female yeah. you know what I'm saying, from the beginning to the end. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's some shit in there, yeah, you can read in a book, and you know what I'm saying, you might read that shit. Yeah, but and I think... you actually experience that shit... It's uh, different experience. It's different. Man. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. I definitely agree with that, too, mm-hmm. for sure. That is definitely very true. Because I was telling him about that, too, because whenever I was starting to get into reading and shit, is that I would read a whole bunch, and then I really didn't get to grasp the conversation... I mean, not the conversation, but grasp the information at hand fully until i was able to get myself out there and then fail a whole bunch of times right. it took failing a whole bu- a whole lot of times in order to completely understand the information mm-hmm. as a whole instead of just like little pieces here and there right that really took some time it really did 
And like you really difference. do need to do that shit. You really need to take the mm-hmm. fucking time, get if some fucking experience under your belt if you're serious about it. And experience not as a, like the, the you just you, you don't have to hook up with them, but just go talk, talk, or m- more importantly, listen. Yeah, definitely. And, um, make sure you got all your shit together before you do it, though. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're in a position to date before you try and date. Meaning more like make sure yourself you're in a decent financial position mm-hmm. means preferably have your own place mm-hmm. in a way, right. have your own car, have some extra money on the side because it's going to, you're going to have to you know, spend money, gas, money on food, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And you have to be a guy that is, you can't be judgmental. You got to be chill. There's yeah. a lot of shit that goes into it, but <laughs> the good thing is most dudes won't do it. So then automatically your competition becomes very little. Yeah. yeah, most guys would rather just go sure. go look up some porn and beat their dick and then go play a game. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying, which is great, because <laughs> it, which is great for uh-huh. me. Yeah, or for you, or for you, uh-huh. if you were in that situation, All right? Because because yeah, you got a bigger pool, you, you, it's like ten to one in your favor. Yeah, exactly. And then you on hear top that? Of that, and then on top of that, the motherfuckers that ain't shit, they're gonna fall off. The motherfuckers that's too nice. They Y'all gonna, gonna fall, fall off. Yeah, they yeah. aren't direct, and women can see through that. You have to be direct. Get straight to the point. Yeah, because then you get a yay. You're trying to get the try and get the yay or nay as quickly as possible, so that way you don't waste your time. That way you can move on to the next one. Definitely, oh, definitely. that's definitely true. Yeah, and no need to that down. I don't need to sugarcoat that shit, motherfucker. She already knows. She wants the want. same thing. <laughs> what are you fucking? Holy Say shit. that shit with confidence. Say it with your fucking chest. Yeah. You have to be. Competence is confidence. Competence is confidence. That's one of the rules. Yeah. That's like, one of the rules in damn how to get your fucking life together. Yeah. Confidence comes from knowing how to do something and do it really well. Confidence and competence go hand in hand. Go watch that shit. Get your fucking life together. Yeah, how long has this podcast been going? Let's wrap this shit the fuck up. This 30-minute podcast. This 30-minute podcast that turned to two hours or something. God damn. That calls for another shot. Oh man! No, yeah, don't be started. You're checking your fucking watch <laughs> now. You're here for good, buddy. You're here for good. We got blankets. Yeah, you got to stay here and oh, get fucked up. I gotta go to Charlotte, and, and I do too. <laughs> and we have to, and we have to damn uh, play chess. Yeah, I can't do that. Why can't you learn? I Jalen want to, but not, I really should. But I don't really want should. to right now. I'll Too have to scared. learn. You have to teach me one day, bro. Okay, I will. I really will teach you. Teach me? And the, yes, I swear to God, and then I'll beat your ass. Yes, <laughs> I, I actually would really, really love for you to do that <laughs> in chess. I really, really would. And then I, I will play you until you beat me. You'll play me. So you'll play me until I beat you. Yes. Okay. Okay. But that will that will take a long time. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Tell these people to fuck off, Jalen. Just tell them to fuck suck suck a. Uh, don't. <laughs> no. Just tell them. Just tell them uh, something. Hold on, wait a second. Hold on. Just give me one second. Get your fucking life together, you sons of bitches! Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Mm-hmm. Should I yell into the camera and tell them to fuck off and harass them or some shit? If you want to, but I'm taking my headphones off. Okay. Well, I gotta take a piss, so I'll make it. I'll make it short and sweet. Uh, today I'm wearing a beanie. Um. You want a shot, Joe? I'm pouring a shot. I'll catch you on the flip side. We're going to be nice. We're going to be nice today. So we'll catch you on the flip side, and we'll see you in the next motherfucking podcast. If you don't like whatever the fuck you're watching right now, we don't give a fuck. Fuck off. What the fuck he said.